As long as I can remember, bedtime has always been my favorite time of day. I take this time to pamper myself by indulging in relaxation. This video is sponsored by Bush, a sexual wellness brand to encourage everyone to indulge and invest in their self-love journey. You guys can check out any of their items on their website using my code 20 Nia G, which will be linked down below. Before I go shower, I make sure that I light my favorite calming candle. As you guys can tell, all of my candles are all centered around relaxation and calming the mind. And I like to light it before I get in the shower so that once I'm out of the shower, the scent fills my room and it gives me like a spa type of room once I get out of the shower. I also pick out my pajamas before I get into the shower. I love pajama sets, but I just want them sitting out so that I don't have to go rummaging for them once I get out. Um, right now, I've been loving this set from H&M. They have so many others in like different colors, but I really like white right now, so I got white. Always shower before I get in bed. I don't want whatever I was walking through throughout the day in my bed with me. So I go and shower. I am such a huge Drake fan. So I just set a cute little playlist. It's typically always Drake. All of the shower products that I use are relaxation scents, you know, bergamot, aloe, eucalyptus, and they're all moisturizing. And I do exfoliate and I use this amazing EOS shaving cream that I love. And I usually do my skincare in the shower as well. My shower, the scent of the candle has filled my room. It smells so good always. And I love keeping my bed made. Having your bed made in the morning makes bedtime so much more enjoyable because one, it's nice to look at, but also, you don't have that sense of chaos. Now it's time for my skincare routine. I do my major skincare always at night. I start with my retinol, my serum, my gels, and my hydrating cream and lip balm. And make sure you have a good nighttime skincare routine because this is a time where you're inside all of the benefits of the skincare products that you're using have a such a great amount of time to set in like you're sleeping usually for should be sleeping for about eight hours <laughs> i do my skincare like so early in the evening that i have about 12 hours of you know moisturization all setting in and i do my body care as well you guys know that i absolutely love xiaomi and avino everyday daily moisturizer love the thickness of the shea butter from Xiaomi and I love that it's unscented because it keeps my skin so smooth and moisturized but also the scent of my soap can still shine through. This is my pajama set. I have a million pajama sets. I'm absolutely in love with a good comfortable set of pajamas. This cotton set from H&M is absolutely so cozy and I love the color and now before I go to bed I wind down with a relaxing cup of tea this honey lavender stress relief has been my absolute favorite lately um, I picked it up at Target sometimes I have peppermint tea ginger tea or just straight up black tea to wind down and I love this mug from anthropology having a cute mug really makes drinking tea much more enjoyable but yeah so I just have it nice and warm and warm liquids before bed is actually really good for your digestive system. My phone automatically goes on DND from 10 p.m. to 10 a.m. the next day, but usually I put it on a little bit earlier once I'm ready to get in bed. So this is me on my laptop. I just check a few emails. Um, I check my YouTube stats and I do it my own business. So I, you know, check in with that just for a little bit. It's usually relatively quick. 
breezing through things and then after that i check in with my planner um i get a new one every single year this one i got from amazon i love having a cute little planner to keep up with my daily and monthly tasks and i just like check off everything make sure i did everything that i needed to do for the day and put in some new stuff like say if i made a plan for you know next week i make sure that that's in there and you know i take little important notes maybe if something's coming up just to keep me on top of my game keep me organized i love being organized and planning out my day to a t like you know unexpected things do come up and i still make sure that i add those because those are just as important now i don't journal every single night but i do journal often um i don't believe in going to sleep with a heavy heart so something is weighing on me i just write it out let it all out until i feel better also if you're new to journaling or maybe you have something to say but you're not exactly sure what you need to say sometimes i like to look up journaling prompts and that really helps me like position myself to be able to really get to the root of whatever is on my mind um journaling is also another way to keep yourself accountable because you can read back to the things that you've been thinking about or going through and then you notice different patterns and really it's a good tool to release to make sure you're not just bottling things in this is definitely endless social media scrolling is something that we're all guilty of but to make sure that i'm don't feel like i'm wasting my day just mindlessly on tiktok or instagram i do make sure that i do that before bed so i don't feel so bad I about it make sure i have certain times for it throughout the day so i can still you know indulge when i want to but i don't feel like i'm over indulging by doing it during maybe when i'm supposed to be doing something more important i'm back with that tea but yes social media you should not feel guilty about your usage and also be mindful of what you consume i tend to watch funny videos rather than like you know dramatic messy tiktok type of videos at this time of night once i really feel ready to settle down or if i'm just feeling restless i do take melatonin the suggested dose is two but i usually am fine with just one and i find something on netflix or youtube to watch but this was the day that you came out and i did decide to watch you and yes i did finish it all in one day now i'm just laying in bed part of my bedtime routine is really just me catering to myself and making sure that i center a certain part of my day just to myself you know we can have self-care days but i make sure that i stick to this every single night that i so that i never feel neglected because you know the world has so much going on at all times that we really need to have at least one part of our day that's all about us and what we like i've made time for everything that i love to do and i feel great my mind is at ease now that's all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video.